Today we're going to be learning to use another couple of tools uh, in the sketch mode of Inventor uh, to create a part file. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my part file. So I go up to the top, I choose a part file from the top menu here. New icon. Click New. It opens up my part file. Now you may find that when you start your, um, your part file that your screen looks something like this with no ribbon and no browser bar. So if, if this is the case, all you do is just click up this button up at the top to open up, up your ribbon. You might have to wait a second. Okay, so you want to show full ribbon. You might have to go to View, select User Interface, click on Browser. Okay, so now we can go back to the Sketch tab and we're going to create just a couple of shapes. Remember that we always draw the shape and then dimension. Okay, And this will use, work for most simple drawings. The only cases where you may want to wait on dimensioning certain items is when you have a very complicated sketch where you want to get the basic shape of the sketch done first and then dimension it. But that's not the case today. We're going to dimension things as we go today. So we're going to first click on rectangle. I click on the rectangle tool. I click. I click once to make an endpoint. Sorry, I click once to make an endpoint. I drag. Sorry, I don't click and drag. I click once, pull my mouse up, click again to make the endpoint. Now I'm going to dimension it. I click on dimension. I click once, pull up, click again to set the dimension. Double click on the number. I'm going to edit this. This time I'm going to make this a, a four inch rectangle, four inches long. I'm going to stay in the dimensioning tool. I'm going to click on the other side of the rectangle, click once, pull out, click again to set the dimension, double click the dimension to edit it. I'm going to make it two inches wide. Click check, check mark to, sit, to have the dimensions set in the rectangle <clears throat> snaps open to be two inches high, four inches wide. Next, I'm going to use the zoom tool. I click the little down arrow. I'm going to click zoom all. Okay. So now I can see my entire rectangle. The next two things, we're going to draw a couple of different shapes inside of our rectangle now. The first one that we're going to draw is a simple line. So we're going to click on line. I'm going to choose a spot on the rectangle actually a spot outside of the rectangle. I'm going to click once, Oops. click once, pull my mouse up, click again, and there I have a line. Next I'm going to use the circle tool. I'm going to click on the circle tool. The circle tool I'm just going to set an endpoint. Click once, pull out, click again, we are going to dimension. I forgot to dimension my line, so I'm going to dimension it now. I'm going to click on the line. The line, it's, the line itself, so you can see that we're going to, the, the default dimension for a line is from the top to the bottom. But in this case, is that really the, um, the size of the line? It is not. So I went ahead and double clicked. We'll learn a little bit more about dimensioning later on. But for now, we're going to do the height of the line regardless of the fact that it is slanted. So it doesn't give us the length of the line, it gives us the height of the line, as you can see from the dimensioning line. So we're going to make that one inch exactly. Okay. So next we're going to dimension our circle. So we're going to, we're going to actually dimension the diameter of our circle. So I'm going to click on the center of the circle. I'm sorry, we're going to click on the circumference line of the circle. Click once, pull out the dimension, click again, double click on the number, and set. The, we're going to set this circle also to one inch, exactly. Click the green check mark. Next we're going to create an arc. It's a three-point arc. So we're going to click once, Click twice, and then we just pull the third line out. And the, the further we pull, the more like a circle it's going to become. 
So we can go ahead and pull that line any way that we want. Pull the arc. Finally, when we're ready, we're going to go ahead and click. The arc we're going to dimension as a radius of the arc. So if we click on the arc itself and we pull it out, you see that that's the radius of the arc. This is the center point in the middle, and the radius of the arc right now is 0.64. So we're going to click to set the dimension, double click to edit it, and we're going to make it a one inch radius this time. So it's going to be twice as big as the circle. Okay. Finally, we're going to do an ellip uh, ellipse. I'm going to click once. And notice that if I want some help on the ellipse, I just have to uh, pause my mouse over the ellipse control, and it will give me more help. So it's a three clicks for the ellipse. So we're going to click once, click twice, and then we pull the ellipse up, and we can make it exactly the size that we want. And we can click there. Okay. Now there are a number of different things, of course, that you can select on the ellipse. So in this case, we're gonna, we're, we can either do the height of the ellipse, which we're going to set at 0.5. We can also set the, uh, oops, we can also go back to the dimensioning tool. We can also do the length of the ellipse. In this case, it's going to be one inch. Okay, so try these three controls or four controls. You're expected to have a line, a circle, an arc, an ellipse, and a rectangle all dimensioned. We're going to go ahead and save our drawing. We click OK to get out of sketch mode. We're going to go ahead and save our drawing. In this case, we're going to call it shapes, Mr. Carmody underscore shapes. and save. And then I would upload my drawing or I would show it to my teacher, whichever the case is in your class. Thank you very much.